Yeah, you got some green tomatoes on there. Oh, there's a bunch of tomatoes. Yeah, I like fried green tomatoes. <laughs> yeah. Your corn looks good. Coming along. Yeah. Along. The wind grass. kind of blew it over a little bit. Yeah. It's, it always stands back up. So. I like the way you got your little irrigation thing set up. It works really good off the fence. Yeah. You, we missing rain. It's going all around us. Yeah, I have, we haven't got any. So. so you had to do something. That squash looks good. Yeah, it's all coming along. <clears throat> yeah, your grandfather would be really proud. Well, thank you. I'm happy to see it, you know, stay in a garden. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm kind of thinking next year I might make it a little bit bigger or do a few more things even. So. Once, yeah, I, when I was doing gardening every year, I got bigger mm -hmm. and bigger. My mom did when we were real little. Uh -huh. She had her whole backyard within three years. Started off with a plot about like that and then just encompassed the whole backyard. Uh -huh. Then she talked the neighbors into doing their yard and she ended up having two backyard fulls. <laughs> and then out in the country, we had a, a what she called a pea field. Really? Yeah, I had peas and beans and butter beans and different kinds of things. We used to shell peas till our fingers were <laughs> bloody. Uh, we're going to put some beans in here for too long. Maybe after the potatoes or I might make room up here and start some later beans. Oh, that would be good. Yeah. Well, ain't that a pretty bike, people? Huh? I'm talking to, I'm talking to the I'm camera. <laughs> ain't that a pretty bike? <laughs> yeah, you've had it for a while. I see you all the time, but I never, never uh, know your name. Max. Hey, Max. Yeah, you ride quite often. Not very often. Yeah. I do more running than I'm biking lately. But. Okay. Well, you're a young fella. <laughs> yeah, right. You're, I, I swear you're young. <laughs> A little older than you, sir. Yeah, I'm young. I'm, I, I look out of the eyes of a 21-year-old. <laughs> Sometimes I act like 21. I fully intend to be riding when I'm 90 and doing all kinds of stuff. <laughs> you had quite the winter down there in the islands of life. Yeah, kiteboarding is something that a person can do till they're 90. <laughs> I'm going to tell you something. There's some people, older people getting involved in it. Right? It ain't a young person's sport. It's an old person's sport. There's, I put up on my Facebook page a, a deal about women that are over 65. Some of them are 75. It, it's a video that features them. It's pretty interesting. Look, if you fall on the kiteboard, all you hit's water. <laughs> but you can't hurt yourself. It is dangerous. To, to, to learn, to get, once you get trained, it ain't dangerous. You, but you can still, you know, people try to jump. And I try to jump a little bit. But Those waves and stuff? Yeah. <laughs> there's a certain way you can pop that board and that kite at the same time, bring that kite straight up, and uh, it has lift them, and it just lift you up. I could never skateboard. Did you try? Yeah. Back in the day? Yeah. When I was a young pup. I built my first skateboard in 1969. It had steel wheels. Yeah, yeah. And a two before. <laughs> then I moved up to clay wheels. And in 1973, the polyurethane Cadillac wheels from California came out. I got me a pair of them. I had a quite a few decks, but I had one deck that was uh, fiberglass. That was a good deck. It had a lot of pop, but yeah. That's the 2016. Uh, it looks new. It might be a 2017. Might be a 2017 because it's got all the good stuff on it. Yeah. And it's a specialized. Yeah. 
So you bought it here in town? A Rube, yeah, uh, Sunshine bicycle shop. It's a Rube. You bought yeah. it from Sunshine. Yeah, it was a. Uh, I think it retailed for like almost three thousand dollars. Yeah. And I they uh, I got it for like eighteen hundred. Wow. They bought it and uh, kind of let the guys in the store ride it. A couple customers rode it. Okay. And then uh, so it was never bought by anybody. So you got a little bit of a discount. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. That's a nice bike. Yep. So you you collecting your data? Trying to. I forgot this morning to hit it. <laughs> yeah, I know the feeling. Are you on Strava? Yeah. yeah. Okay. What's your name? Robert Letterman. Hey, Robert. I'll be. I'll look you up. I'm buddy. Okay. I like sure. that bike. That's cool. Yeah. Thanks for letting me take a picture yep. of it. Let me back off so I can get the, the picture. <laughs> yeah. Well, I actually teach people how to make money on YouTube. Oh, you do? Yeah. It's um, it's the fastest growing multimillionaires are young YouTubers. There's some people out there making huge money, thirty-five thousand a month, and it's it's amazing. Just doing YouTube. My uh, seven-year-old's addicted to YouTube. I learned that last night. Yeah. They, there's a lot of people that are watching a lot of videos yeah. on YouTube. They yeah. pay us by watch time. So if I put a video up, it's it's good to put some short ones up, but it's, when you put the long ones up, as they watch it, your watch time minutes go up, so you, you make more money. Makes yeah. sense. Maybe you should uh, come to my office and do a YouTube video for us. How to do your own billing or what? No. What kind of business are you in? Dentist. A dentist? Are you over by um, uh, Cash Saver? By who? Cash Saver? In Ozark? No, I'm in Springfield. You're in Springfield. Okay. Well, I thought I'd get a picture of this yucca bush coming into bloom. Ain't that beautiful? It's one bush, two, three, four. Yeah, when I had my house in uh, Greenwood, Mississippi, we had uh, two yucca bushes. And uh, they come in bloom like that, look really pretty. Yeah. This is the guy that does the thoroughbred horses. He's, he's got in studs out there. And that's what they are, they studs. And I think the mares he keeps over there until he's ready to put them together, if you know what I mean, to make them little bitty baby, baby. Ponies. <laughs> yeah, he's got, uh, I think, three that's been born, and he's waiting on one more. It's not easy to get a chance to video him. He's he's so busy. But maybe one day I'll get to show you his horses a little better than from the road. I like his uh, string, air string. That's really pretty. Now this guy over here is cutting the field and I wish you could look at the red tail hawks that are flying but I can't zoom in on them but they're just looking at the trying to see if they can get a meal all right I'm gonna get on down the road it's been two laps today by the time I get to Ozark it'll be uh, right at 47 48 miles 